Hi, my name's Simon. Today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 1963 Land Rover Series 2A 88 inch ex military 2.25 petrol that you can see uh, lurking behind me. Uh, two videos, one walk around, one driving. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Land Rover Series 2A 88 inch ex military um, petrol soft top. Um, an XFFR radio vehicle. This one, although there's no radio gear on it anymore. Um, we think this is a 1963 car, I and mean, it is on an A registration, but uh, when it came out of um, military service, um, they put on the V5 as they used to then, that it was first registered in 1972. Clearly, it isn't a 1972 vehicle, it's um, much, much older. Um, yeah, so we think it's 1963 and uh, came out of military service in 72. Finished in, as you can see, in military camouflage with hood. Uh, fitted with a matching set of four 750 by 16 tyres. The spare is a good year size wise. That is also 750 by 16. Um, but the ones on the on the road are not good years. Um, so bonnet mounted spare. It's got the military uh, bonnet hooks on it. Obviously that's something to do with the old military radio gear, I guess. That hole. It's got rear bumperettes on it. Nice to see it's still got the, uh, the glass rear lights. Um, civilian tow pack. Military rear cross member. Um, tailgate with uh, stowage for Pioneer tools. And then inside, Got its proper dash with some extra dials in, a uh, hand throttle, presumably to do with uh, keeping it running with the radio on. Twin seats in the front, it's got seatbelt bar in it, and nothing in the back, just um, bare in the back. It also comes with that uh, possibly military torch, that's its military data plate. Um, it's also got twin tanks on it, and when it came out, I was surprised to see it still had twin tanks because normally one of them tends to get removed. Um, so I put some, it looked quite good, so I put some fuel in it, in the left hand tank, which had no fuel in it, and that's the result. So the left hand tank is leaking, um, so we'll just run on the right hand tank, well, I'll run it on the left hand tank until all that fuel comes out of it, or, or we burn it off basically. But it um, doesn't affect the vehicle, but uh, yeah, it's, it's unusual to find one still with twin working tanks on it, um, and this one is, uh, is no exception. So, um, let's walk around and pick out some good, good bits and bad bits. Not much in the way of bad bits. And um, I'm pleased to report this one is actually MOT'd until uh, February 2022. Doesn't need an MOT by law. Um, but previous owner obviously thought it was uh, worth doing for peace of mind. So it is MOT'd, as I say, until uh, February 2022. Um, military paintwork and all sorts of, you know, holes and things everywhere as an ex-military one. So expect to see some, you know, over, over spray and things. They weren't overly careful how they painted them, but uh, the, the paintwork is authentically military. Looking down here, we've got a couple of dents in the top of the near side front wing. Give you a little look at the front chassis leg there. A post and scuttle corner and screens. Oh, sun's coming out. Near side door, a few stains on the near side door down here. As I say, it is uh, older military paint. Um, door top feels nice and solid on the near side. Bottom of the frame, seen better days, it's gone towards the back here but uh, doesn't really do a lot on these doors the frame so I won't worry about it too much um, see inside the footwell there and up under there and up there seats couple of nicks in the passenger seat backrest they are the military seats and dash we've got say some extra dials and things on there Seat box, near side rear wing, 
Tires all look to be in good shape. As I say, it's only just recently been MOT'd. And under the back here, obviously had a replacement rear cross member at some point because that's the join line. But you would expect that given that it's nearly as old as I am. And then around the back end, nice to have black and silver plates on it really rather than the reflective ones but uh, they do the job looks very straight down the offside a couple of blemishes just there as I say the paint on the uh, rear quarters is proper military stuff right hand tank incidentally the one that uh, you tend to use is not leaking. Um, driver's door, nice to see it's got still got the nice deep seals on it. That one's got a couple of holes in it for some reason and a couple of holes in the wings, all to do with its military service I guess, as will that one be I would imagine, unless someone's fitted a snorkel at some point. Actually no, looking at it, it looks like it has had a snorkel on. May have been a winterized one in the military. I guess you've got two snorkel points there on the, on the top there so it may have been a winterized vehicle and then in here up here on the bulkhead Um, frame on the driver's door again has seen slightly better days, particularly around here. But uh, door top is a bit floppier on this side, but not badly. So um, looks like it's had a sort of a nasty repair in the corner there. That's the um, tap for the twin tanks. Nice to see it's still got its sprung steering wheel. Yeah, there we have it. It's it's yeah, it's a it's a nice nice ex military two A this one, in my opinion. So my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118-907-1495, or you can go to our website, which is wwwmoto drome Dot com for any more info. Right, quick video of starting up and running on this uh, 1963 Series 2A X Military. It's running nice and warm at the moment. So you just been out. X Military 2.25 engine. I've got the hands probably set a little bit too high. So the speed's a bit high. But um, yeah, there we have it.